Well, hello there, guys. My name is Mr. Great, and there is another review. This time, I will be reviewing Samsung Galaxy A7, the 2017 version. So, this phone is released in January of 2017, and this device falls in the category of the medium to high range smartphones, which means you should have a budget around of 35k to purchase this device. As usual, it has some similar elements of previous generation, a series device along with some additional features, which I will be mentioning further in the review. Also, in the end, I will mention other phones that you can buy in this segment. So stay tuned till the end. So, guys, one of the most notable features of this series is their metal unibody, and Samsung no doubt have not compromised in that. A7 features a full metal unibody design which sports a slight curve at the back, which smoothly transition to the front screen. As usual, volume rockers are located on the left side of the screen, and the power button is on the right side. The SIM card tray and the memory card tray are separate this time, which means you can use whether single SIM with memory card or dual SIM with memory card. Samsung has also made it IP68 water resistant, which means it can sustain wet environments for decent amount of time. The Galaxy S7 features a full HD Super AMOLED display with 386 pixel per inch and 73.6% screen to body ratio. meaning that it delivers brighter colors and contrast even in low brightness as such was the case in the A7 2017 the colors were solid the brightness was super bright and watching movies on such large screen was a good experience for protection A7 2017 consist of a Corning Gorilla Glass 4 but i have also heard the news about S8 screen getting damaged with Corning Gorilla Glass 4 so i can't vouch for that in the protection department To power up this gorgeous screen, Samsung has fitted a non-removable Li-Ion 3600 mAh battery that promises to deliver screen on time of up to 23 hours. But since the device was fairly new, I didn't got the time to test that. Samsung have at least put in a larger battery capacity to power up the phone. But that's not the issue because non-removable battery supports fast charging. and comes with the faster charger adapter inside the box along with the micro usb to usb type c adapter a7 2017 features a 16 megapixel rear camera capable of full hd 30 fps recording along with a good and quick focus it is not the best in the class but this is great for the price range and in the front camera department though the samsung galaxy a7 is unbeatable with a 16 megapixel cmos technology camera even in the front meaning that even under low lighting condition the front camera can take pretty decent selfies there are usual modes available for camera such as panorama along with few food beauty and other filters etc samsung galaxy a7 2017 houses a samsung's homemade exynos 7880 octa core processor which is clocked at 1.9 gigahertz during my usage i haven't faced any lag between switching apps or other processor so it seems like a decent processor also coupled with 3 gigs of ram and 32 gigs of internal storage samsung galaxy a7 delivers a faster and smoother performance for its price range samsung galaxy a7 runs around a android marshmallow right out of the box and has a good chance of receiving the nougat update as usual samsung has skinned over the touch base on the top of the stock android but this time it is optimized much better than the previous version usual samsung gestures such as double tap the home button to launch the camera worked fluently along with the added features such as device maintenance made sure that the phone runs in the top shape although it seems as a useless feature for some users who know about the cache trash and other junk as they can clean it themselves so guys in my review i am seeing that this is a really premium phone if you have a huge budget and want a premium phone you can go for this it has a really great camera it has a really great display it has a decent ram decent hardware's for the decent price but if you want to go for value for money you can still go for redmi note 4 and some lower models like that and if you want to if you want a really great flagship you can just invest some some more money and can go for oneplus or the higher version of samsung like against samsung galaxy s8 s7 edge etc it is a awesome piece of tech but i don't think that it really worth it So this is my review on Samsung Galaxy A7. In the end I will like to say that it is a good phone for a power user who wants a decent featured phone with Samsung brand chip and have a budget of 35k to spare. And in that budget my suggestions were LG V20, OnePlus 3T, Moto X, Force, Samsung Galaxy A9 Pro and Lenovo Fab 2 Pro can be better choices. 
data in this phone. These are some great phones that you can buy in this segment and have some nice specification in this price range. For further queries, mention your questions in the comments. And uh, if you found this video useful, please hit that like button and press the subscribe button with that bell icon if you not yet pressed that button. And this is Mr. Great signing off. Jai Hind.